Yo, what's up guys, the snow dog here. So I actually have reached 8,000 trophies for the first time ever. And I'm gonna be going over some of the battles that got me here. So here's my battle log. I faced some difficult matchups, but I also won some difficult matchups. Lost, win, loss, win, loss. And this was the last game that got me to 8,000. So I'm just going to go over a couple of these and go over the highlights. So I'll probably start with this one against Mega Knight Ram Rider. And this is a pretty difficult matchup because my opponent has Mega Knight and I don't have like a really big tank killer. And also he has Lightning for my Archer Queen. Uh, E-Spirit gets really good value against all of like my skeleton troops. So... At this point, I I want to play passively. I don't know his deck yet, so I just cycle Snowball. It's a safe starting play. So I see E-Spirit and Ghost. So I know it's probably Bridge Spam. So I'm just going to defend that with the Dark Prince. He cycles Snowball. So at this point, I want to go aggressive. And so I just go Giant Graveyard. And... That kind of leaves him with no elixir after he Mega Knights and Bandits. So my graveyard push gets a ton of damage. So, however, I have to defend his Mega Knight Bandit Ghost push. So I go Skarmy low, and he snowballs it. So I can't take too much damage, so I snowball his Ghost and Bandit. So I'm still in the lead here, but I am down a little bit of elixir, so I need to be careful. He goes Bandit, really low elixir. So I just go Dark Prince. But that was a really good play by him because now he's just able to go Ram Rider to counter my Dark Prince. And I didn't really see that coming. So I'm pretty much going to lose my tower here as the Ram Rider connects. So I'm going to have to find a way to go on offense and take his other tower pretty much. Or else I'm going to lose the game. So I'm just going to Giant here. And go with the graveyard because I know he doesn't have a lot of good graveyard counters in hand right now. And like with him using the ghost and the queen's ability, he doesn't have room or time to counter the graveyard. So it gets like a ton of damage. So here I have a pretty big push I have to defend. So I just go Skarmy on the queen. And uh, yeah, for the ability, Dark Prince. And then I have to go in here because I need to take one of his towers. And he just lets it go and Mega Knight's in the back, which I think was a mistake. Because I'm pretty sure he could have defended. So I go Queen up high because I know he has Lightning. So I don't want to put it anywhere near my tower and give him value. Plus, it, so that's a negative trade for him to Lightning my Queen anyways. So I'll take it. He's trying to build up a huge push here. So I just go Snowball, Dark Prince, Queen. Because I know he doesn't have Lightning back in cycle yet. Minions. The Ram Rider connects a little bit. But it's not too bad. I'm technically still in the lead. But he takes the lead there. Archer Queen also gets a few shots, which is bad. So at this point, I know he's really want to... So he, yeah, he bandits in the middle ram rider so he's just like spamming things in the middle now so i go minions and it luckily saves the ram rider from connecting to my tower and i know he's probably gonna like queen in the middle or something so i have skarmy ready and i waste my own queen there that was a bad queen but at least his queen didn't hit my tower at all so i know i need to go aggressive because he's just gonna keep spamming troops in the middle so he goes Ram Rider here, which I think was a mistake, right as I went Giant Graveyard. So he doesn't have enough Elixir to defend my push, and that's it. And I win there. So that was a pretty good game. It can be a very difficult matchup, but you have to play it well. Uh, I'll go over this Mortar Bait game. So this is actually a pretty easy matchup. Since you have arrows and they have minion horde. Pretty much your arrows kill most of their troops like guards, spear goblins. 
and then your queen can destroy the mortar and cannon cart. So he's gonna go mortar first play. I just queen. It counters it pretty easily. The ability makes sure I don't take any damage on my tower. He still has to respond to the queen. So he's gonna go guards. That's just an easy dark prince to counter. And then I could go graveyard here, but I know he has minion horde, so I'm just gonna arrow that minion horde. And it still demands a response since I reacted quick enough. So I'm up a little bit of elixir here. And I know he doesn't have the greatest Skarmy counters in hand. So I'm just gonna go Skarmy at the bridge. It forces out a miner from him. And then I'm just gonna go minions in the back cycling. And then I tried to predict where his spear goblins would come down, but I failed. But it's not really a big deal since the spear goblins don't do too much damage. So I just Dark Prince the middle. He has to go cannon cart. And my Dark Prince will not kill his cannon cart since my Dark Prince didn't have the full shield. But so I still have to counter the cannon cart somehow. So I'm just going to go giant here. Because it'll help kill the cannon cart once it, the wheels break off. And so here, I know he used his fireball, so I'm going to go minions. And then arrow the minion horde. And I do get uh, minions to the tower. He's He goes spear goblins to kill him, but my giant still connects. And that forces out guards from him, which is a big overspend on defense. Since I can easily counter them. So, Dark Prince counters the guards and gives me a nice counter push. So here I'm just going to go Giant Graveyard, especially since he cannon carded in the middle of a graveyard. And cannon cart's not the best at defending graveyard. So the skeletons are going to kill the cannon cart. And he's forced a fireball here on defense. So I'm up like four elixir. So I just need to keep up the pressure and build up a pretty big push so i'm just gonna go giant graveyard again here i think okay make sure to arrow the minions okay giant minions yeah so he doesn't have a great way to defend this since his fireball's out of cycle and or he doesn't have enough elixir to fireball so my dark prince splashes on the tower a little bit there gets it down to under a thousand and he can't really break through, so he's going to try to go opposite lane. And just make arrows to easily clean up the minion horde. And since he used his building, he has nothing to stop the giant. So that's going to be game. I win the pretty easy matchup there. Another 34 trophies. And then I'll go over this game that I lost against Asaph. Because I think I played it pretty well. It's just a really difficult matchup. Since he has uh, Pigs, Earthquake, Log, Delivery, he can pretty much kill my push with the, my Graveyards with the Earthquake, Log, and my Queen with the Delivery. So he goes in first play with Pigs. I just Snowball and Dark Prince. And it, the problem is it's really hard for me to defend Pigs because if I go Skarmy, he can just Earthquake them. Whereas if I go Minions or Dark Prince, it still gets a lot of damage. So I pretty much have to snowball them or else I'll take a lot of damage. So I just go Queen in the back because I know he's probably playing some kind of Pig's EQ deck. So I'm just going to try to go aggressive here and catch him off guard since it's harder for him to defend in single. So Queen ability to try to break through. And I do get one queen shot, but I needed to get more damage if I want to win. Since in triple elixir and double elixir, he can start spamming more like earthquakes and pigs onto my tower. So here, I don't want to overcommit and allow him to attack. And I go dark prince to avoid the fire spirit splashing on my minions. But that's just an easy delivery for him. That's the problem with this matchup. It's so hard for me to break through since he has so many defensive cards. And I caught caught in a really bad situation there. Because I only had Queen and Skarmy available for defense. 
and I can't go Skarmory or else it's just a free earthquake for him. So Queen defending the push allowed him to get a lot of damage. And I can't fall into a big damage hole or else I'll lose. And that's pretty much what I'm doing now. So I, I try to go in opposite lane to maybe surprise him. But obviously he can just Earthquake on defense. And I uh, Earthquake and Log is just really hard for me to break through with the graveyard. So he goes really aggressive here with Archer Queen Pigs. And I'm able to get Skarmy, but he still earthquakes it. So Skarmy's pretty useless in this matchup, and it's probably not a good idea to even play it. So I just go Giant to like try to get rid of the Archer Queen and Fire Spirit. And he's a little low on Elixir here, but uh, he's still able to d easily defend with like Delivery and Log. And so he's just spamming like more stuff at the bridge. I don't want to take the fire spirit hit, so I sacrifice my minions. And this is really tough because he's just going to keep going in this lane, earthquake cycling me. I can't really do anything about it. So here I try to protect my dark prince and archer queen, but his archer queen locks onto my dark prince anyways. The Delivery and Fire Spirit kill everything. And I just go Minions and Snowball and Dark Prince. And the Pigs don't get any damage, but I really like overextended on defense, so it's just an easy cleanup for him. So, yeah, here I'm struggling to defend. His Queen is getting a ton of value, killing pretty much half my Giant log and it's pretty much dead before it crosses the river there's the snowball and my queen dies so he's just gonna go pigs again i think no okay i pre-placed dark prince so he saw that and didn't go in so now pretty much all my counters are out of hand so he's just gonna block my giant with cannon and my minions do kill his queen, but he can just royal delivery them. And I'm pretty close here, only like 700 damage off. And I have the momentum, so I'm just going to keep going in with the giant graveyard pushes. Arrowing and snowballing to try to break through. I do catch his skeletons with the snowball, but it's not enough. I'm about like 300 damage down now, so I'm just trying to keep pressing my advantage so he blocks here and this was pretty unfortunate he snowballs or he earthquakes my graveyard and i was really close to winning here but he got the earthquake off so if i had gotten a, maybe a little more lucky with my skeleton rng i would have won but he bms me with a hard counter so that's unfortunate but I only lost 24 trophies, so it's not too bad. This was another matchup against Mortar. It's pretty much the same, so I won't show that. This is this was an unfortunate matchup against Mega Knight Ram Rider, where I got kind of destroyed at the beginning. But this one was a good matchup. This uh, Executioner Valk Balloon deck can be a little difficult. Uh, especially if they activate your king tower. So, Archer Queen does pretty well against Balloon, but the problem is since you can only have one Archer Queen on the board at a time, it's really easy for them to outcycle you. So this was a mistake I made. I allowed him to activate the king tower here with the Skeleton's NATO. So I, like, with my deck, the king tower really helps out a lot against my graveyard. So I knew I pretty much probably lost there since my king tower or his king tower was activated. So I'm just trying to go in like really aggressive here to maybe try to catch him off guard and win the match. So queen here and my queen is doing pretty good. It's actually able to connect to his tower a couple times and get like a thousand damage. So I just go minions to clean up the Valk. And I'm down like two and a half elixir here, probably. So 
So I need to be careful. So he immediately goes in knowing that he's up on elixir. And this is a really bad situation for me since I have a full health balloon on my tower. And I have to snowball and cycle really quickly to my archer queen. And I still take two balloon hits, which is bad. Because once he takes my tower, he, he can easily defend my giant graveyard pushes with his king tower up and the valk and executioner. So I need to do something crazy that he won't expect in order to break through. So, yeah. So he's just, I'm just going to go Dark Prince in the back. He goes Executioner. And here I know he's probably going to place Skeletons in the middle. So I arrow them. And then the Dark Prince actually connects to his tower and his Executioner splashing on both. So I see he goes in. So I try to tower trade since that's my only hope of winning. So I give him the left tower hoping to go in pretty hard on the right. So he's going to give the tower up, which I think was a mistake. He could have NATO zapped my push and it probably would have died. So he's just gonna go defensive now, executioner in the back. My queen is still up, so that means he can go in with a balloon now. And I can't have queen anywhere since she's still on the board. So he's gonna NATO zap my minions, which kills them. So I'm gonna have to snowball his balloon here to deny it hits since my king tower is already pretty low. So my Dark Prince kills his Executioner, and it's kind of a weird spot right now, because I have to defend his Balloon pushes with only my minions. Here I'm getting my Queen down, but I still have to Snowball. So here I'm just looking for an, advan an opportunity to go in, but he's not really giving me one. I have to wait till I like successfully defend a push and counter push. So here, just going Dark Prince in the weaker side. And here I go Giant Skarmy in the pocket, because I knew his NATO was out of cycle, but he's going to bomb tower. So it probably wasn't the best Giant Skarmy, but at least it forced like some elixir out of him. So I'm just cycling arrows, trying to hit his skeletons. Queen in the middle to try to like predict a balloon maybe. He just goes Executioner in the back, so I just Dark Prince the same side. He goes Miner to like soak the Queen damage, but I just go Giant Graveyard. Um, since the Queen and Dark Prince pretty much kill the Valk and Executioner. So he zaps, but I get the damage advantage back. And especially since my Giant gets like a hit there. So this is kind of scary though, since he can build up Valks and Executioners really fast. And he NATOs my Queen to the other lane, but it actually comes back to shoot the Balloon still. Snowball to make sure it doesn't get death damage. And that was a really solid defense. So now this is my opportunity to go in after a good defense. So he goes Bomb Tower and it distracts my Giant. But it doesn't matter because my Skeleton... Skeletons from the graveyard are getting a ton of damage. So I'm up like a thousand. I predict his balloon with the minions there. And he does the NATO zap thing, but it doesn't really matter since I have Queen and Snowball. So this was like a really good comeback after I after he activated his King Tower in the first like ten seconds. I was able to find a way to win. So yeah, that was a pretty good match. Plus 30 trophies. Alright. And then this was the last game that got me to 8,000 trophies. Against the Rascals Logbait deck. This can be a pretty difficult matchup. Since they can just spam you so hard at the bridge. And Snowball does pretty good against Skarmy. But at the same time, they don't have a lot of answers for your minions. Besides like Princess and the rascal girls. So I went super aggressive here knowing that he doesn't have a lot of good graveyard counters and I need to be aggressive in single elixir. And it pays out really well. I get like 2000 damage. Unfortunately, I have to commit a lot of elixir so I struggle to defend his bandit and I still have to defend his cannon cart. So this is a pretty rough situation actually. I go 
scar me to defend the dark prince and dark prince of my own on the cannon cart but i'm down a ton of elixir so he's just gonna goblin barrel i snowball so i don't take too much damage and he's gonna princess the bridge really aggressively and the, my only choice is to eros since that's my weaker tower and i don't want to take too much damage so i know i'm down some elixir here so i need to play like really smart and try to get positive elixir trade so i can catch up and try to maintain my damage advantage so he goes cannon cart in the back here i'm just gonna go minions in the back and i know he's probably gonna go rascals in front of this to kill the minions i'm just gonna go archer queen to hopefully kill all that and Skarmy to distract. He does snowball the Skarmy, even though the Dark Prince probably would have killed it. So I go Dark Prince here, and I don't really know why my Dark Prince didn't go for his. But here, I snowball both the Dark Prince and the Bandit, because I know he probably wouldn't Bandit. And it helps to kill it. And here I arrow the Goblin Barrel, because I don't want to take too much damage. And he knows it was a questionable arrows, but like... Even if I take like 300 damage, that's kind of bad because then he can start rocket cycling. So I'm just going to giant the back here and he's just going to keep building up huge pushes. Since with like Rascal Boy, Cannon Cart, and Dark Prince, since I don't have a big spell to kill it. So I'm going to have to use my Queen and my Skarmy and other stuff to kill it. So here he gives me good arrow value. And my Queen and Skarmy and Dark Prince pretty much clean up his whole push. I am down like two elixir though, so I need to be careful. So he goes Rascals, Goblin Barrel, Princess at the bridge, and somehow the Princess actually connects to my tower. So I have to arrow it or else it would have got like one or two more shots off. So I'm down like three elixir here, so I'm just desperately trying to defend, going scar me. And he's just going to build up another big push with Dark Prince and the Rascals and Cannon Cart. So here, I Archer Queen, he gives me arrow value again, but I don't take it. Instead, I just defend with Dark Prince, and I arrow hitting his bandit, because I knew he would probably bandit there, um, since he did, he did that before, and I was looking for him to do that. So now I know I need to go aggressive, but after I defend this push. So unfortunately, the princess kills my minions there. But uh, the skeletons do a good job killing the Dark Prince. So after defending his Goblin Barrel, I know like I need to go aggressive since I'm down like a thousand HP and Triple Elixir is about to hit. And he's just going to keep like applying pressure so I can't go in. So here, Triple Elixir hits. So I go Giant Graveyard, uh, hoping that I can get some damage. And he's actually forced to Goblin Barrel on defense, so he can't go on offense. So here I can just set up a defense with the Queen. And then Skarmy to distract everything. Dark Prince will splash on the Bandit and his Dark Prince. Snowball counters all damage. And I'm actually in a pretty good situation since I can go to Giant Graveyard again. Oh, you know, actually here... My minions and giant break through. The minions connect to his tower and Dark Prince. Uh, Dark Prince does not die, but it nearly does. And here I go in giant graveyard arrows. He has to snowball, but it's too late. My skeleton did enough damage and that's game. So that's the game for 8k. <sighs> Yeah, it was pretty difficult to push to 8k. I faced a lot of difficult matchups, and I tilted a little bit, but I was able to recover. So that'll probably be it for me this season. It was my first time hitting 8k ever. So if you like this video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.